All right, welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. Tropical hit time, talking about potential tropical cyclone number nine as it moves into the Eastern Caribbean this morning. I want to start off with the Hurricane Hunters map here. We had a flight out there earlier on this morning, and this is important because what they were trying to find is the area of central circulation around the center of this low pressure system. And I'll cut to the chase. They couldn't find it. They did find wind speeds though at 45 miles per hour. So the latest update from the Hurricane Center with the five o'clock advisory gives us those 45 mile per hour winds. Storms moving to the west northwest at 23 miles per hour, but it is still not technically a tropical cyclone, either a depression or a tropical storm. Once it's able to organize that central area of low pressure, that's when it will become tropical storm Isaias, likely later today. But you can tell if I didn't have that low pressure mapped on there, it would be really hard to tell where is the center of that 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 system and that's the rub right now with our forecast long term now we do know the system is going to be moving to the northwest we are expecting it to become a tropical storm so we have tropical storm warnings up for many of the islands there in the caribbean including puerto rico hispaniola there with puerto uh, dominican republic and then also tropical storm watch up now for the southern bahamas including the turks and caicos here's that forecast track but remember what i said we don't know where that center of low pressure is so if we don't know where it starts we don't really know where it's going to go and, and what it does in between. Now, if it moves farther to the west and it continues with that westerly trend, that means it moves over the mountainous terrain of Hispaniola, Cuba, which would lead it to be a weaker system to what we could potentially see here in Tampa Bay. So that's important just to know that this forecast will likely change. But on the current forecast track, that could bring us tropical storm force conditions as early as Sunday morning. Right now, it's just a 25% chance that we would see those tropical storm winds arrive as early as Sunday morning. But look at that broad range in the forecast models. Still a lot to be determined. I think we know a lot more this time tomorrow morning.